Hello, everybody. Welcome to this Quick Sniff episode. On this Quick Sniff episode, we're going to talk about direct versus indirect reward and why not be able to use both. In this industry, there's a lot of times sides. Are you a person who pays at odor or are you one of those people that uses a signal that means get your reward over here? So what I want to talk about is the definition first. Direct reward is commonly defined as throwing the toy at source or bringing your food item to the dog at source. Where indirect is the use of a condition reinforcer, aka a marker or a bridge, that tells the dog they're correct and they are now released to come to you to get that reinforcer. We can use both. You don't have to be locked into one or the other. By having clarity and communication gives you a lot more options as a detection dog handler. Another thing that we can do to help this clarity is using a keep going signal, such as good or hold, etc. So when the dog goes to odor, puts itself in whatever trained position you want it, you can then say good or hold. And the dog will then know that either the condition reinforcer is coming next or the rewards coming there next. So by communicating, it gives you options. Why not be able to do direct and indirect? We can train this simply the same way as we did a down or a sit stay. When we taught that, we didn't always recall the dog to the handler because if we always did that, you'd put the dog in the position, they'd expect it to come to you all the time. By varying it up, by saying down or stay, and then sometimes coming to the dog and giving them reward, or sometimes calling them to us or releasing them through a signal, we're using clear communication. And using keep going signals and a condition reinforcer, we can teach a solid alert and have great duration. So what you're going to see in these videos is different examples of this. And this first one's going to be a typical indirect reward with free. The dog was marked and gets to come to the handler for a reward. In this clip, Natalie's going to use hold and then direct reward. Using hold like this hold. might turn into a terminal Natalie. marker. In this one, we're going to use hold followed by handler proofing, then mark and release. Good. In this one, I'm going to use hold, but he'll break. Hold. I require him to go back. I'll use my marker to release. Free. Good boy. Good boy. This next one's going to be a vehicle search. I'm going to use my marker and indirect reward. As you got to see there, he knew to come to me for reward. We just want options. So I hope this video shows you, you don't have to be one or the other. You can be direct and indirect with the same dog. As the points here on the screen are showing, the more options you have, the better you can be as a canine team. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll catch you in the next one.